The purpose of the heartbeat bill is to require a test prior to an abortion to determine if the baby has a heartbeat. So three things happen. First, there is a test done. Second, the woman is informed of the results of that test. So she learns that her baby does or does not have a heartbeat. If the baby has a detectable heartbeat, then no abortion can be performed unless there's a medical emergency. This is a way to protect the unborn child and provide information to the woman. Most women seeking abortions are not familiar with the uh, growth and development of the unborn child. It is not in the abortionist's interest to inform the woman that in fact the unborn child is a living human being. People have asked, is this bill constitutional? Well, the question is really irrelevant because until Roe v. Wade is overturned, any challenge to legal abortion is going to be argued as unconstitutional by those proponents of abortion. However, we have seen with other cases that challenges to Roe uh, and challenges to legal abortion can be upheld, whether it's informed consent, parental consent, the partial birth abortion law. So the heartbeat bill allows the opportunity for the Supreme Court and other federal courts to examine the medical evidence, to determine that the unborn child is a human being, that if a child has a detectable heartbeat, that human being ought to be protected under law. Because as the Fifth and the Fourteenth Amendment state quite clearly, you have a right to life, and your right to life cannot be taken away from you without due process of law. Unfortunately, abortion does not allow due process of law for the unborn child. Some people have expressed reservations about passing the heartbeat bill. They're concerned about the courts. However, their concerns are misplaced. The courts have had the opportunity, but never have expanded abortion rights. In fact, the latest case, Carhartt, they actually upheld uh, state legislation that prohibited a ghastly form of abortion. So I don't see the court expanding the right to abortion. On the other hand, the opportunity for the court to re-examine the medical evidence dealing with the humanity of the child uh, is very important. Second, the opportunity to educate the public is invaluable. Just having the news reporter talk about the heartbeat bill reminds the public of the humanity of the child. Just talking about the unborn baby, the fetus, the embryo with a heartbeat reminds us that they are members of the human community. And finally, the law has a severability clause so that even if the court were to strike down the heartbeat provisions, the informed consent provisions would be upheld. This would provide an opportunity to educate the woman as to the humanity of her child and the fact that her baby has a heartbeat. This would allow her to make an informed decision regarding what to do regarding her baby's life. So I think we shouldn't fear passing the heartbeat bill. We should fear what not passing the heartbeat bill would do for hundreds of thousands of unborn children.